Okay, so today we're at Bold Demon Cafe to try out the Hellfire Noodle Challenge. Um, Taryn came out and did this in 18 minutes and they say it's their all-time record. And they told me at both locations no girl has ever done that. So let's see how I do today. Actually, this is one of the very, very first ones I've ever been out to before anything. And it combines both spiciness and quantity. So I wasn't prepared for it and I failed pretty mi miserably at it. So I'm back to see if I can uh, get my revenge on this. Nobody's here, so I kind of have the whole place to myself. It's really nice, so I get to talk to you guys, and you can hear me clearly today. And so, and this time I did come prepared. I got whole milk, chocolates, more chocolates, yogurt, and tums. I had this beforehand. I know this one's actually very painful. I don't know what kind of spiciness they use, but it does actually get really, really spicy. And because it's so big, like um, spiciness build up, and it really starts burning. So we got the rules of this challenge is you have 30 minute time limit. If you finish, you get it for free, otherwise it's going to be $22. Um, you have to finish both the soup and the broth, and then you'll also get a t-shirt and a picture on their Hall of Fame. <sighs> they have two locations, one is in Diamond Bar, which is like 5 minutes away from me, and then one in Temple City, which is probably like maybe 20 minutes. If I can do this one, and maybe I'll go to the other one with a collab with some other people. So once again, I'm I'm really nervous because this, I, you know, I failed it the first time. So in my head, I was I have like bad memories of it, and I brought some soup home to my family, and they thought it was like crazy spicy. So yeah. Oh, here it comes. All right, guys, here it is. I probably won't drink the water because that's just going to make it spread, but I got my milk and I ordered a Yuxiang Bing Sao, which is a taro slush. So, he's going to start timing me to make my hair up real quick. My chopsticks ready. It smells really spicy. Apparently they use ghost pepper, gui jiao, right? They say, uh, mo shi ge de gui jiao, gui jiao. I think that's ghost pepper. I don't know, I'm not sure what the English translation really is. So, do. Okay, I have that one. You can use that one. Oh, you need that. Oh, she's a Kaisa. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Alright, we're starting. Oh. Alright, here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Um, it's really tasty. I love noodle mian. If anybody knows what that is, it's a uh, traditional um, dish from Taiwan. Beef noodle soup is very, very popular. Alright, here's my taro slush. It's a uh, ube. If you don't know what taro is, it's a ube. Mm. So good. It's a lot of noodles. Look at that. Alright, five minutes and this is still piping hot. I'm struggling with the temperature right now. Luckily for me, the uh, spice hasn't hit yet, but I'm worried this is a lot. All right, so I asked them to give me a separate bowl on the side because I'm struggling with the temperature really badly. It's such a big, <coughs> big bowl. <coughs> Meat is really tasty. Very tender and solid. Ooh, my body is shaking. It's getting spicy. So 
one's definitely a tough one. The quantity really makes it hard. Because as you eat more, it gets spicier and spicier. But I'm so glad you don't have a bowl, guess what you can use? This yogurt, this Beijing yogurt is helping a lot. I want you to chocolate. Yeah. I'm really struggling with this one. Uh. Alright, 15 minutes in. It's really hard. You think you should tend to Oh, she <laughs> it's the chef talking to me. He remembers me from last time. He's telling me to get this far is already a really big feat. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> My body is vibrating. It's cool. The weather is so cool. Yeah. You actually have to sign a waiver for this challenge too. Because it really does mess up your body as you're eating it. I was giving my body a, a good couple minutes of cooling down. It's all seriously starting to shake and vibrate. Right. One more yogurt here to help me out. Broth is so oily, it's making it a little bit harder to drink. I'm pretty certain they also use mala oil in here, so that's what's making it really oily. Alright, so I know it's not like completely clean clean, but they said it's okay. This is a really tough challenge. I'm so happy I have all my aids. If you guys never had this, this Beijing style yogurt, you should go out and get this. It's so good. Oh. And the last, last chug of this. It's terrible. But just look, look at the quantity. 
difference. This is like a regular bowl. Look at that. A quantity yeah, yeah, spice yeah, challenge is really, honestly, really, really tough. Oh. Dude, actually hurts to smile for the picture because my whole mouth is burning. Oh, I made some chocolate. This is chocolate like tree, pine tree thing. It's Japanese. It's so good. Reward here. Chocolate, chocolate and milk. Alright, I know some of you guys wanted me to do Orichan, I promise. I'll do Orichan too. And I've actually have done it three times already. It's just the first two times um, I didn't start doing all these videos yet, so it was just going there casually for fun to see if I could do it, and I couldn't. And the third time I went. Um, and actually lost the SD card, so I lost the footage. So that's why I don't have a video on Orochan yet, but promise I'll get that out because that one's really popular and you guys haven't asked me it. And maybe I'll bring my relief supplies like this because Orochan is a pretty fair, fairly good size pool too, so. And it really sucks to chug the broth. Anyways, we did it with three minutes to spare. Whew. First female to done it at any of these locations. No, oh, I'm pretty proud. Even though Taryn has a record of 18 minutes, he's crazy. He's he's a beast. But we did it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, so the chef was so kind enough. He brought this out for me. This is the chili pepper they use. In case you guys are wondering. Oh.